All right. So that's uh, basically the update. We'll do a couple more as we go along. Uh, but DT also wanted to highlight some of the crew members. So that's going to be the latter half of this podcast. Are you ready to jump into it? I am. I mean, without this crew, I mean, this is an all-volunteer crew, and, and the people we have and the quality of people we have and how hard they work is absolutely tremendous, and, and the crew never gets, you know, enough credit. So, I mean, on our engine team, we had R.C., Richard Catton, Craig Johnson, Rich Kurtz, and Jerry Derry, and did a lot of the original work on it. And, I mean, these guys, you know, they're, they're thrashing up there, and, you know, the, the bottom line is, you know, when something breaks, it, everybody looks at the engine guy or blames the driver. So, uh, But those guys, I mean, just absolutely thrashing. And the nice thing is, is when I get in the car, I don't have to worry about anything. Those guys say it's good to go. It's good. And then we got, you know, our crew chief, Frank Hanrahan, and um, Lou Anderson, who was our car chief, and those guys have been around the project the longest of anybody. And you know they built those two guys virtually built this car. So you know, big shout out to both of those guys. On fuel, we have uh, Eric Honick, who is also one of our sponsors for Concrete Plants. Uh, thank you, Eric, for for all you do. And Terry Hegman is also on the f- fuel crew. And Terry also is our body guy, and he does uh, he. Anytime there's any body work that has to be done, Terry's always the guy that has to do that. Can I tell a quick Terry story? Please. So we're on the line on the morning of the uh, fast 435 run. And when the guys are taking the challenger off the trailer, there's a, basically there's a problem with the exit ramp. And the front of the nose gets a pretty substantial gash knocked in it. So, I mean, you're about to go faster than almost anyone else except for George I think has gone in a piston powered car and there's a gash in the nose which serves an aerodynamic function on our vehicle in a very important spot and we like to talk about how we're the uh, we're trying to rebuild the world's fastest hot rod and to me this is just the essence of hot rodding because Terry is sitting there on the salt with hand tools repairing the aluminum nose live in line they're placing tape on it. They're getting the edges. They're making it smooth again. But th- this was a substantial gash. Like, I was really worried we'd have to use the spare nose. And we're sitting there doing that on the line as people are literally going in front of you. And then 15 minutes after, Terry puts the last piece of tape on and bangs the last dent out of it. You go 435 miles per hour, which just is unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> that that's all i mean th- that's the essence of the whole crew and when terry looked at me and he said it's ready to go i, I didn't ask another question i didn't ask are you sure it's ready to go or anything else i got goosebumps right now with that story i mean he said it was ready to go i didn't ask except next question i got in the car and we went 435 miles an hour so that's how all the crew is it's amazing it's unbelievable. Sorry to interrupt. I just oh, thought no, that was a great perfect, story. Perfect. In engineering, we got Tim Gibson, who is our engineer, and he reads all our computers and um, computer information and dissects that information and you know gives gives the engine information back to Catton. And uh, I can't say enough about about Tim Gibson and and his abilities there as an aerodynamicist and and also as an engineer. Um, this next person, uh, she is our team manager. She is my wife. Uh, Travis's mom, she is absolutely awesome. I mean, the way she runs everything and the way she keeps everything going and and keeps my back and keeps me going when if I get down, um, my wife, uh, Valerie, team manager, is amazing. We have our pit crew who consists of Danny Byrne, Ray Lara, Jason Brown, Reed Rutherford, Warren Baird. These guys are multitaskers. Uh, They do anything Anything that you want to be done at any time you want to be done and do it in a hurry. Uh, we got this other lady on our team. Um, we call her Chief Mom, and that is my mother. And um, another awesome lady, uh, Bub Lannon, who was one of our photographers, got a picture of my mom. She was sitting in the back of the car. Nobody was around. It was on our return run morning. The sun was just coming up. Um, on the horizon and there's my mom at the back of the car kissing the tail you know nobody nobody's looking she's not doing it for the for film or anything else I mean and Bub happened to get a picture of it and it's one of our more awesome pictures I think we have these two guys that are uh, our parachute guys and and now 
Mike McGuire and Mike McGuire Jr. And this is another person. I mean, when these guys pack the parachutes, it's my butt on the line if that thing doesn't stop. And th another group that you can just trust. They drive our truck. They deliver. They're the multitasker. I mean, these two guys, just you better stay out of their way because they're not slowing down for nothing. We call them the Mikes, Mike Jr. and Mike Sr. Uh, the McGuire's are pretty awesome. And, of course, Mike Sr. was on your dad's crew as well. So he's one of our links to the original uh, Autolite special, as it was called at the time. Great, great point. Mike was on the original team, and that was 49 years ago. you got to remember, this car is 49 years old. So, um, you know, the fact that this thing is running 49 years later and going 435 miles an hour, that's pretty darn cool. Then we got Travis, and that's who I'm doing the interview with. That's my son. And uh, he handles all our social media, all our press work, and is on top of it. As you can see by this interview, he stays, keeps everybody really, really well informed. So thank you, Travis. Definitely an A player. <laughs> a player. I'll give that an A-plus player. We have a, a young man... Uh, also on the pit crew and uh, does, a, does a really, really good job is uh, Donnie Dye. And um, I, Donnie Dye's new to our team. This is the second event that he's helped us. And um, Donnie does a tremendous job and, and with, with anything. And him and Jason Brown were the ones that set up our, our crew back in impound. And when we got the car back there, those two had the, the impound all ready to go so everybody could start, you know, start going on it. So... Um, we have a, a ne rather new guy named Abel Lannon who is, was doing some film work for us and uh, fairly fresh out of film school and lives in the town of Ridgeway where we live. And then uh, he's got two grips that help him. Both are his mom and dad. And uh, so that's so John and Kelly Lannon. And uh, I'm, I'm just rubbing it in as they're, they're his grips. But, uh, and John and Kelly also helped in the hospitality area and once again in anything else. Also on photos, we have Holly Martin and Martin Minnie. And, um, of course, you guys all know them because they've been with us for uh, for the whole time. So uh, awesome pictures once again. So that's pretty much um, everybody on our pit crew. And, and a big shout out to those guys. I guess pit crew team, however you want to put that. But, yeah, those people are all what make it happen. And, um, you know, thank, big shout out and a thank you to them all. Definitely. it. A lot of people, I think, you know, seven years ago thought this thing was impossible. It wasn't going to happen. We're not the fastest piston car yet, but I think we've come an incredibly long way, and we certainly haven't done it on our own. 